the death of Black Panther's co-founder, Huey Newton. Today, some of the people who were formerly involved with the Black Panthers will be here to talk about what it was like in those early days. But first, here's a background profile on Huey Newton from Liz Gonzalez. In the mid-60s, at so-called liberation school supported by the Black Panther Party, he was a revolutionary hero. Newton spent a lot of time in jail. To the police, he was a dangerous thug. In 1967, he was convicted of killing an Oakland police officer, but two retrials later ended with hung juries. In 1974, he fled to Cuba to escape prosecution for killing a prostitute. Then last March, he was accused of embezzling state funds. Today, Charles Gary insists Newton was a victim, not a villain. The FBI killed him. When I say killed him, I don't mean to put a gun to his head. They destroyed him as a person, where he became a paranoid, sick person. It's a wonder that he was still alive. Huey Newton helped shape the Black Panther Party, but he also shared in its demise. While Newton was charged with various crimes, including murder and assault, the party was losing power and membership. Eldridge Cleaver, who himself was purged from the radical group, refused to comment on Newton's death. Johnny Spain, however, said he was not surprised to hear of Newton's demise. I think on the one hand, Huey did a lot to, to illustrate some of the, uh, the ills of our, of our society. On the other hand, I think personally, the pressure that came to bear on him for that very effort um, might have lent itself to destroying him. Years ago, Newton was asked how he wanted people to remember him. Well, I would like to think of him as a person who's very loved. <laughs> but just as people have debated over the effectiveness of the Black Panther Party, so will they debate the life of Huey Newton. Liz Gonzalez.